serious and um, not have to think about women anymore not have to think about socializing anymore not have to think about politics anymore not have to worry about what I'm going to say to people how I look I'll get that in a second how I act just on hold if anything's possible and um, just you know live for the video game. I mean, I see so many people doing it now that you know they they are you know they're rude. They have no gender, and all they talk about. And I'm talking grown men here are their video games, their scores, their numbers. If they talk to each other at all, and if not, they can spend hours upon hours of sitting there with a tablet in their hand, and that has become their life. And that is the life of many young men today. Leaving young women with what the fuck? And eventually, with no one to turn to, they're starting to fall apart. It's all starting to fall apart very quickly. And people ask, they say, do I think it'll be martial law? What for? Everybody's home, stuck on the computer, playing on their video games, holding a tablet in their hand, completely unable and capable of even thinking of fighting back, why would you need martial law? You've already got them in prison in their own homes. You don't need curfews, no one goes out at night anymore. Think about it. Dumbed down, castrated America. Now I know the show's supposed to be about how to pick up girls, seduction like that, but first you have to realize you have a agenda. And you don't see it anymore. That drive, that insanity, does not exist, okay? I see how grown men, what, 25, they're watching a movie. What are we watching? Who don't talk. Oh, what are you watching? Men in Black. Harry Potter. That's where our culture is going. And that's why a jerk off, like Howard Stern to say, he wants everybody to turn in their guns. Or Howard Stern, fuck you, okay? Well, you can't say that about him. Yeah, I can. I just did. Any questions? Here's how to reach me. Gary Brodsky123 at AOL.com. I'll get it here. Or info at GaryBrodsky.com. It comes right here. Because I am sick of what people are becoming. Human beings? Huh, I used to make fun of the cardio guys. Believe me, they're 12 steps ahead on the evolutionary scale. At least they're doing something. They're moving. They may have that stupid look on their face. I don't care. I'll take them now. I accept them. That's how bad things are getting. Because the video guys you just don't see. You walk out in the street, where is everybody? They're playing video games. Take my word for it. They don't need mass roundups or prisons. They already got you in prison. Sitting there with a fuck controlling an idiot. That's the human race today. Think I'm crazy? Not crazy at all. So that's why the guy today who's alpha kick and rule the world, his own world, built his own world. Not hard. There's nobody else in it. I could get into this, but I'm going to wait for a webinar for this, because you're paying 10 bucks each to get in. But you people are genetically disposed to follow a leader. And I could teach you how to be that leader. 
but not on your show tonight. No, you're going to pay for this, okay? Yeah, I'll admit I'm a capitalist. Oh, my God, did I say a bad word? Yeah, probably today it's a bad word. I'm not like Howard Stern. I don't want you to give up your guns. Let me give up his bodyguards, his alarm system. See how, how tough he is. But uh, anyway, I um, off the topic. As usual, I've never yet stayed on a topic here, so I don't expect it to happen. Do not expect me to start talking about, well, yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to talk about. I don't care. What do you think of that? If you have a question, I'm not sure. How do you seduce police women on duty? See, that, that's, that's a strange question. I'll tell you why. And no offense to you, Yaakov, you're a good friend of mine. But a police woman on duty is the same as any woman anywhere. Women are women every second of every day. That's it. So women are women everywhere. A waitress is no different than a corporate executive. Women are women and have women's needs. And they're all the same. It's, uh, I'm glad you brought that up because guys have now segregated women into. Well, how do you pick a girl who works in a gym? Same way you pick a girl who works in a library. And whatever. Ah, my old friend, Juan. Juan. Hey, Gary. I went to a store that sells power candles. The worker told me I needed a spiritual cleanse for the candles to work. Is this true? Give me the best opinion on this. A spiritual cleanse is always good. So I don't say that the guy is wrong. You know, it's like anything. It's like first clean it out and then see if it works. Even when your computer breaks down, they go, well, check everything else, clean out, let, let the static out, and then rehook everything up. Um, it'll still work, but he, he's got a point. Spiritual cleansing, and at least he won't use the word spiritual. That's a good word because that's a word people don't use anymore. So, yeah, he's, he's got a point. It'll still work. But just like anything else, if you're going to go out there, even when you walk out there today, you want to sharpen yourself up to look the best. Of course, when you look the best and things are sharpened and cleaned out, you feel better. That's why the first rule, this is the first rule of many, to wealth is to clean out your office. Clean out the space you work out. Clean it out. Why? Nature hates a vacuum and will refill it back up with something good. Or something bad, but usually something good. So, uh, you know, people have become idol worshippers. This is this is what, what what has happened to men and women. Dancing with the Stars. Uh, American Idol. I don't watch television, so I'm just guessing it shows here. That's all I hear people talk about. Women. Have you seen Dancing with the Stars? And they go, hello, hello, are you there? Because I don't want to even know a woman like that, okay? I don't want to know you. And that's what's happening to uh, people. Now, young guys watching Men in Black. It's okay to watch a movie. It's okay to watch Men in Black. But put in a, woman, a movie with romance, they can't deal with it. It shorts out their brain. Why? They burnt it out with their goddamn games. And I thought Pokemon was bad. It's getting worse every day. Every day. And I am going to take a soda break. Think of some good questions. I obviously can't leave you come back. I'm going to have a soda down the street. I'll be back. Now I'm going to be right here having a soda. I'm going to put some good music for you. I'm looking for a good song. Ah, here we go. Yeah.
anybody remember the world? When? There were porno theaters, live nudes, because I never liked the dead ones. Um, I wouldn't be caught dead with an necrophiliac. Mm -hmm. um, peep shows, all that stuff, it was all a man's world. They had dirty magazines, just pictures. Those cost four bucks. I remember me and my friends, we were teenagers. We would sit there and figure out the tax on four bucks, run the store, throw four bucks and change down on the, on the uh, counter, and take the magazine and run out. It's not robbery. We were just underage. That's how crazy we were when I was younger to look at a nude woman. Didn't matter who she was. We grab the magazine, I was four dollars. Here you go. Well, you're too young, man. Come back. Goodbye. Now, today, the average guy doesn't even get turned on by naked women. Why? He has seen so much uh, internet porn that a regular woman to him just won't do it. There is, again, their uh, control. They beat the men out of men. That's not good. Ah, question. Can I get info to how to use oil on candles? I don't happen to have a candle in front of me, nor any oil. But all you do is take the candle, just put the oil on your hands. Um, I notice there's no, no, one up and one down. As above, so below, and that's it. Just, just get the oil on the candle. That's all. And if it's one of those candles that are in a big glass thing, Take a chopstick or a pen, stick holes in there, yeah, and just pour the oil in there. And that, that's how you oil a candle. Okay, next question. Junius. Hello, sir. Hello to you, Junius. Cool guy. I love Junius. Because my doctor will be on high blood pressure meds. The little fellow has been running out of gas. So ask, what can bring the little fellow back? She said nothing. Gary, I bought the gold drink. And a little fellow now won't let me sleep without a woman. Thank you. All right. The gold works, okay? Thank you, Junius, for coming in with that course. I've just been waiting. People have been told they'll never get it up again. This gold, which we have right now for sale at GaryBrotsky.com supplements, will give you, yes, a testimony from uh, Junius. And Junius does not lie. He is one cool, hard-hitting self-defending, standing up for himself, guy, okay? Doesn't matter what doctors say, doesn't matter what. You take that, you're going to have iron downstairs. And that, that, that's, that's science. It's not subliminal, it's not suggestion, it's science. And I hear that from a lot of people. It's like, I, I got your gold. And I, I can't stop getting erections. Is there a problem? No. The only thing is I want to buy some more. Well, we don't. you have no idea how much that stuff sells. And right now we're selling it at cost at GaryBrotsky.com. So you have at least six to eight weeks worth of hard-ons for like 37 bucks. And I don't care how good your thing is working, it'll work better. You can be under the worst stress. Like, oh man, what the hell is this? Oh, a tent? No. So it does work. Gold. Alex, good to see you. How are you doing? A lot of people hit night. Yes. I mean, it's nice spiritual things, but yes. Absolutely. And Alex again. Yes. You know, candles are power, and people don't realize that. I got a lot to light tonight. I was going to light them here, but last time it caused a flickering effect. So I didn't even record that. So I'm keeping this recording because I don't have the candles going, but I have all night to light them. They, why do you think you go to a Buddhist temple? Candles. Anywhere. Church. Candles. Synagogues. Candles. Um, any wealthy neighborhood. Candle stores. Any poor neighborhood. TVs with paintings. Just, you know, back to the video games, because that's my, my topic tonight. Stealing people's souls. And, you know, I was saying to myself, I never played a video game. Maybe it's that good, it's worth everything else. I'm saying, no, it can't be. 
because I know guys, and I get one extra guy talking about guys in their twenties who should be married, and this really bothers me. Every guy I know, thirty and down, no girlfriend, no wife, no desire to find one, just has that tablet with them with a the video game. Take away the tablet, they're like, ah, <laughs> seriously, it's, it's horrible. And that we cannot let happen to ourselves, and we have to guard other people. Did I take my soda break yet? Why am I taking it right now? There are people who will not watch a show because I smoke. Well, that happens, doesn't it? But now, as things progress, if you've been watching the show, Guys will come up to me and say, you know, you know what smoking does to you know how bad it is? I mean, you know, at least these guys are social. Maybe they're really bizarre in their sociality and socialization, but at least they're social. They're making contact. They don't know what the hell they're talking about, but I don't care. They're making contact. They're not playing video games. They're all screwed up, but at least they look good now. With that voice, you know what smoking is doing to you? Hey, at least you're a human being. You're talking. I don't care what it's doing to me. Okay? Thank you for even speaking your mind, even if I don't agree with you. It's gotten that bad. That's why, you know, if you want to know about seduction today, it is easy. All you have to do is be a man, which is very rare. It's just very rare. I'm taking a quick soda break. So think of some good questions. And here's a good power song. What now? Okay, more questions are here. And I'll answer them best I can. Gary, do you customize the X shoes before mailing them out? Yes, I do. Absolutely, totally customized. I've got them working almost too good now. People call me up and go, hey, I got your shoe. Everybody who hates me is dead. Like, hey, these things are powerful. I can't help it. But they will bring you to the top. Sorry. <laughs> it's a spiritual world now. No license on that yet. Yep, Junius, it is on the way. Ah. Oh, Joe, I haven't got back to you on that. I'm sorry. I apologize. But I got an email and I will. Ah. My Anna, the Anaheim police ride. I don't know all the details on that. But uh, I can't answer that. I don't know all the details. I don't want to give an unqualified answer. I have not been watching news lately and I don't really know what happened. I heard about it. No clue. Um, if you give me the uh, quick, you know, what, what's going on, I'd, I'd love to talk about it. Can you give me a quick number ratio on the people who are always on the tablets? Because I only see a few of them, but only a few. That's the problem, uh, Yakov, is they're on the tablets. You don't see them. They're in the houses. But I'll tell you how you find them. I know it sounds like a crazy way to find them, but do you go to places and realize there's very few people here? I went to a bar the other day. Where the hell is everybody? You guys closed? Oh, no, we're open. 
There's nobody in here. Yeah, I know they're playing video games. The guy told me they play video games. I don't come here anymore. <laughs> so I said, Can I get a uh, free soda? He goes, What do I care? Nobody's in here tonight. We're going to lose our shirts. What's a few sodas? We got a sushi dinner out of it, too, you know, because I got the kind of charm. But if you know any kids, and when I say kids, I'm talking about 25 and under. That is their life. That is all they care about. It's like, hey, you want to see some naked pictures? No, I want to see video games. What do you mean? What a bunch of sissies. Deborah, oh, so nice to see you. Well, if you're ever in my area, I'd like to take out dinner. I will make sure I'm in your area for that, Deborah. Thank you. We can talk later. Hey, Mr. GB. I guess that's me, huh? Somebody else could be here. Who knows? How are you? Your ultra gold is amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you, Max. It is amazing. What amazes me is that, that everybody in the world is not getting it. This is years ahead of anybody else's gold. It gives you back your masculinity and it erases all the trauma in your life. Let me just talk to you about that for a second. When you were six years old and Billy and his friends beat you up, it's in your, it's in your emotions, it's in your reactions, it's in every decision you make. It wipes it right out. Outside of the um, erectile benefits, you've got all that negative stuff. When your mother called you a moron, I got that every six hours. Oh, six hours. Gary, you're a moron. Thanks, mom. You know. And always the same question. What kind of idiot you are, are you? I get that a lot. Like, I don't know what kinds there are, but I always get asked that question. All that's erased. Every time you got, you know, scared, sent to the principal's office, all the paranoia is erased. And that's what it does. And that's why it was so guarded that they made coins out of it. And it comes from the Bible. And the new website I'm putting up has all the biblical quotes in there about gold. How Moses took the gold ram, the pagan worship, and ground it down so that his children would see the Lord. That's all. And they said on Facebook, it's not the Ten Suggestions, it's the Ten Commandments. And, uh, yeah, these are things that I get sued for, okay? One, believing in God. Two, freedom of my speech. That's it. Alex, Gary, can you send me the silver? Yes. We are backed up with the silver. It's all coming tomorrow. A huge crate. Hey, hey, here's an old friend from past day. How you doing? Hey, Gary, how you doing? Uh, yes to all the questions, and I'll definitely do Mr. T. You ask, and you get it. Hold on. i got to do a really good job for you, okay, Daniel? Hold on one second. You want Mr. T? You're going to get Mr. T. Give me a second here. I'm going to use a little levity myself tonight. I'm looking for right. You hear me, fools? I want that ball. You hear me, John Fool? I want that ball. I'm coming for him. I'm coming for him. You can't hear my chance. Give me the same chance. I want that ball. I'm coming for him. You tell him. You tell Uncle Kill him. I want Balboa. You hear me? I want Balboa. Shut up, fool. I pity you. What's the next question here? Okay. Junior strikes again. And it's going to be good. Junior's always has something good. Gary, I almost had to choke myself to keep from asking this girl to marry me because. Two days she treated me like I was a king. It was because of the MK17 I had been wearing. 
It's not a surprise. It works. I wish I could read all the testimonies, but we'll be here till next Christmas. Oh, excuse me. Winter break. It works. And, you know, probably people, the price is high. Believe it or not, I cannot lower the price. I am paying premium for it. And I happen to have my bottle right here because I never leave home without it. And this is going to last for a year. And women will treat you like a king out of nowhere. And you don't have to choke yourself. Wherever you go, and I have friends who go around me, and I go, I can't believe it. I'm getting free stuff. I'm showing you some emails about that. We just hand you stuff. It's like, how much is that? This was a cell phone. How much is a cell phone? Nah, don't worry about it. What do you don't worry about? It? Just take the phone. I'm picking it up tomorrow. Hey, Gary, what do you do when a woman spreads bad gossip about you to everybody? Thanks. No such thing as bad gossip. Because women are competitive. What are they going to say? He's an asshole. He's a jerk. They're going to go, no, he's not. Women fight with each other. If women are spreading anything about you, it's good, no matter how bad it is. The worse, the better. How, what do you think about that? The worst gossip they can spread, they want to really ruin your life, I hope they're not watching tonight, is, you know, he's such a nice guy. He is really such a nice guy. He'll do whatever you ask. That's bad gossip. Anything else is good gossip. Ah, this team impression is better than ever. Thank you. And um, blockbusters actually are better for um, gambling. Comment. Here's the link about Anaheim News cut and paste. Okay, I can't really watch it right now, but I, I, I do appreciate you sending it. I'm going to take some Alpha Boomai while you guys get a song. That sounds fair to me. Well, this is one of the songs I grew up on, so this is my childhood right here. Hey Gary, women give free stuff to me without the MK17. So what will happen when I do use it? You will see a world of difference. It is what it is just so powerful. Uh, here's my deal. If you don't like it, forget the knife to cut it off with, okay? Don't think I can find it. Okay, we got a new knife to cut it off with tonight. Because we got some big, tough guys out there now. All right? We're not playing games there. You don't have to cut it off. No. If you don't like it, uh, <laughs> it's funny. Uh, here's the deal. Just send me an email or call and say, I don't like this stuff. It's not working. And you'll get a full refund, including postage. Now, one guy asked for a refund. I'll be honest. I gave it to him. A week later, Sends me an email. Can I pay for that refund? Because I don't want to lose my sauce. The stuff is working too good. Me being a forgiving person, believing in forgiveness, being the greatest gift people have. I said, sure, why not? He bought two more bottles. So, take a shot. Now, if I had to choose one something, which one is the best? I'll tell you the truth, the gold. If I had to choose one, unless Junie's saying, 
I'll be mailing you postcards of my little scrap gold business to advertise via any webinars. Okay. Hey, Junius, thank you. Yeah, the gold is just as good as gold. Okay? Nothing else I can say about it. It affects everybody in a different positive way. If something's not working, it works. And people are, are like, you know, it's like people do not want to feel good today. You know, people actually come over and say, why do you work out with weights? Because that makes me feel good. I, I have better health. Yeah, but you smoke. Shut the fuck. You know, um, I'll just tell you about the new laws in a second. Good evening, Alex. How should I consume the gold? So I want to buy the pa package three for my dad. I just don't know if you should finish the gold. It, it doesn't matter how you consume. Uh, wait about five minutes before I take gold, five minutes later silver, five minutes later copper, and you just feel great. Since I started the stuff, I have not had a flu, a cold. Uh, I have a cough. Only time because, and it's not because of the smoking. Only thing I got. I actually started laughing with rice in my mouth before the show, and inhaled it. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Uh, you know, people inhale other things. I inhale rice. I had rice in my mouth. Somebody cracked it. Uh, <laughs> you know, rice shooting out my nose. Not a very pretty picture. Nonetheless, it's there. Let's have some questions. I'm gonna have it smoke. Cigarette, which I can't do in New York. Let me tell you some new laws out there. Okay, here's some new laws. People got arrested for this. If you type in all capitals, it could be considered assault. It's against the law. Raising your voice is considered assault. It's now against the law. Pretty soon, everything will be against the law. And they're not taking our rights. Remember that. We're giving them up. A little brain food there. Oh, well, thank you. But I don't pick the test squad. Somebody else does for me. There can be no bias. And they don't tell them what they're testing. One of the guys who tests the MK-17 it was a blind test that my friend runs. We reached you know, the first guy for two days. Why? He was in bed with girls. Not a really bad test. We couldn't get any feedback. Where is this bastard? You know, it's like, that's where he is. I guess it works, huh? Okay. Uh, time for some more questions. Let's have him come in. Oh, man, that's so fast. Give me a second. Oh, oh. Yep, you're doing it right. But it's got to be a crossroads. Everybody's getting a lot, a lot of good luck with that egg thing. It's got to be it's an absolute crossroads. It's got to be like an X or a cross. That's why they call it crossroads. And I'll take my soda break now. Take some more stuff. Let's look at this. On the day I was born, so the saw got around, and it gazed the wild wonder at the joy they found. The head nurse spoke up, to leave this one alone. She could tell by the way that I was bad to the bone. 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 And that's one of Genius' favorite songs. I had a little clip of that. But damn, you know, as far as audio programs go, here's a re recommendation to all of you. How to use Charm, because that's Forgotten Art, and The Gentleman's Guide at GaryBrice.com on sale today. Ten bucks. A sore buck, hey. Because when I was younger, I, you know, 
and I've told the story before. I did not know about the economy, and this is why the economy is so screwed up today. We didn't have dollars. We had fajols, clams, bananas, scarrolls. And I think we should bring that back, because the monetary system is completely shot. Bring it back. It's now scarrolls, balloons, bananas, clams. Why not? The government always tells the truth. And now I think it's a mental defect to not, to not trust the government. Even though not trusting the government is the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. But we have been going backwards ever since. I get this a lot. For some reason, I forgot the reason I mentioned, for Kira, for content, some of your videos have been taken down. That's could be tonight, so enjoy it while you can. They've now privatized freedom of speech, which is really brilliant. The government will not censor your speech. AOL will, YouTube will, any forum where you can speak is now censored. And if you've been on any of the chat rooms, which haven't been in years, I went back on, just I like to watch people you now interact. And this is what this is what chat rooms this is what happens. So I'm sending the TOS, I'm suing you, I'm calling the police on you, I'm just watching everybody's just threatening each other with everything. We have become a bunch of video head, video game playing rats, okay? Now this is everybody's mentality. I'm telling you, what have we become? Well, we can become whatever the hell we want, okay? But tomorrow, the gold and the silver hit here. It sells out real quick. GaryBrowski.com. It's on sale. Male, female, it doesn't matter. It works. Uh, the guy who works with me on, on putting this together has seen, has seen people who are hospitalized with depression and horrible mental illness. Walk out in two days going, I feel great. And feeling good is not a, a crime anymore. People think it is. They can feel good, they must be something wrong with No. How good is the bent? It's very good. Very good. It works, and it's on sale too at GaryBrowski.com. Uh, yes, I will have it on sale in about a week. I don't actually do the sales. I just sort of suggest them because I don't do any web work. So I tried it once, and I shut my site down. You know, just computers came a little after my lifetime, but I can still read a book. And remember, a leader is a reader. And that's what, you know, what's funny is they took the classics away. Why did they take the classics away? Anybody know? I'll tell you why. No guesswork here. Because the classics showed strong family, male leadership, ambition, all the things they don't want you to have today. And it is a day with a capital T. Yes, I'm still working on that, Alec, believe it or not. So expect an email tomorrow on that. I'll let you know exactly how it's going. Okay, any questions before I play more songs? Okay, I'm playing songs now. If questions come in, you're going to have to wait. <laughs> but not long. I got to look for a good song. I said I'm looking for a song. <laughs> Here's one that uh, when I was young it was like really seductive. Now people don't even know about it. So it's actually a good song. Thank 
climbing on rainbows, but there you go. Get your question. Dreams are for those who sleep. Life is for us to keep. And if you're wondering what this song is leading to, Yes. I'll make it a double. How's that? No, you don't know me well. And every little thing will be time. You believe the things that I do. And we see. One second. I'm stuck. I am stuck. I'll be right there. I can't turn the song off. Hold on a second. If I chose the one I'd like to pick me through, I'd like to make it with you. Okay, I'm stuck. I really think that we could make it through. Okay, so it runs in the background. And the questions just keep on coming. How, do, how, how does the Benth work? Benth is as seductive as the ad says. It works. And I'll explain exactly how it was explained to me. It's like playing seven card poker, but you get 12 cards. So you always have the edge. Are you going to win every time? No, but you will have the edge and you will win the game. If you're with four guys, you're the one she's going to pick. If she's out alone and she sees you, you're going to stand out for the crowd. Got this working again. Why does the media talk bad about Kevin Trudeau? Very simple. Because he makes sense. The media is controlled. It is not free press. It's actually called news entertainment now because they can't get away with the bullshit they're peddling for truth. Years ago, Kevin Trudeau's first uh, thing on, on the media where they were after him was saying that jumping up and down on a trampoline is really good for your health. Or just jumping up and down in place. And they said, you know, he's a moron, he's an idiot. Now they find out it is true. And, um... Most of what he says is true, and some of the other stuff he says is inspirational. They don't want you to think for yourselves. I think Paul Proctor is great. Great question. They don't want you to think for yourselves. The media wants you to be and have and live in fear and in worship of the government. I'm not saying government is bad, but I'm saying there's nothing to be worshipped. It's supposed to be the people of the government. I think that has separated itself and it's very uh, illustrative in Michael Bloomberg. Hey, I just bought the facts about women and I'm scoring. Awesome. Thanks, Gary. Okay. Thank you. All the stuff is awesome. And I'm not saying it because it's mine. I'm saying it because I know the research that went into it. Right now, I'm shooting off the hip. The other stuff, I actually work from notes. Everything is on sale right now at GaryBrotsky.com. So, get over there. I like this question. It's from Alex. Is it possible Gary Bratsky and Kevin Trudeau alliance in the future? I hope so. That would be great. How good is Beth in a strip club? That was the first place I tested it. 
first place I tested. And this is where the story gets funny. I came home with four girls. This is uh, in Brooklyn. A while ago, this uh, club of scores. I figure what the hell. And I never paid for a table dance in my life. Never spent a buck on a strip club. I knew the deal. And uh, one of the girls slept in the living room. The other three slept with me. My friend comes by. He didn't know I picked up four girls. He goes, ha ha, she's sleeping on the couch. She's looking in the bedroom. He goes, holy shit, how do you do that? And that was an early form of bents. And it just got better. More refined. And the guy I got it from, it took me years to find out the guys who, who formulated Banth and MK17, MK66. MK66 is actually dangerous. It's made with all legal ingredients, but people say it has the same effect as scopalamine. Let me tell you what scopalamine is. You put the, uh, scopalamine on, and you tell somebody to put the head in a the blender. They'll do it. MK66, you put it on, and if you don't tell somebody to do something, they won't do it. And you say to somebody, um, hi, uh, can you take your clothes off? It's like, okay. Women will do that. It is that powerful. That's why I have an oath there that there are no illegal substances in it. there. No, ISA5 is not as powerful as the other stuff. Just, you know, it's not weak. It's like a 22, it'll still work. But the other stuff, it's like one is like a 44 Magnum, that's the Benth. And the other one is like a tank, that's the MK17. And the MK66, just the way it is. You know something? And this is a, a sign of how to screw up men are. Women are buying this stuff more than men. And guess what? It doesn't work on women. It's made to work one way only. We do have MK17 for women, but it's not up on any site yet. I mean, just imagine the damage they will do. I'm like living in Bloomberg land. Two sodas and not enough for me. I am going to get a tank on my back with a straw. That's just how much I like soda. This is what I'm drinking now. I'm looking forward to it. I had to hear a song for this. Oh, that was good. Okay, let me take a song break here. And I will be back in uh, about a minute or less. I'll be actually here, but pretend I'm not here. There's actually a commercial going on. All right, questions are coming in. All right, I just got to read this the way it's written. So if I have the bent and I'm in the doctor's office and she is a hot doctor and I tell her to blow me, will it work? Okay, put some class in that. This is like the old brother they say, she's hot, blow me. It used to work, but I think I'm going to have to say you hired me a gentleman for free, but that's a great question. Yes, it'll work, but be a little bit more uh, subtle. Hey, Doc, you look great. Blow me. I like that. You know, I, that's, that's the kind of stuff I used to do. I was amazed at the results. Of course, if you knew, this is what I say on everything. Same girl, Gary, can you take your shirt off? Yeah, in your house, okay? Hey, you heard the guy before. Blow me, okay? Uh, <laughs> that's cute. She always comes on late. Hey, Gary, take your shirt off. Um, yeah, he'd love to. Uh, <laughs> take yours off. Send me a picture. Okay. Who? Oh. Little boy blue? He needed the money. Here's some poetry for you. Um, yeah, I'm starting to go nuts at this point. Any other questions? Come on, tons of people out here, nobody has a question. 
Gary Brodsky, one two AOL dot com. Info Gary Brodsky dot com and go to Gary Brodsky dot com and buy something. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the gentleman CD. I was just joking around with you. I was like, hey Doc, how you doing? All right, blowing. It just sounds funny. Hey, what's up, Doc? Hey, guess what? Um, it's, my doctor, you know, I don't actually go to doctors, but this is a joke. My doctor's a little screwed up. He puts his hand on my knee and tells me to cough. That's measuring me the balls of the hammer and tells me to move. Never mind. Um, I come from a strange background. We don't believe in doctors. So the last time I saw a doctor was when I was born. I was born as an ugly kid. The doctor slapped my mother, okay? For all you guys who like comedy out there. I was born, doctor turned me around and said, twins, hey, okay. Um, see, actually, I used to do this for a living. Um, I was able to do Rodney Dangerfield, Richard Pryor, Jackie Mason. I was able to be the com comedian that you couldn't afford to see I can impersonate his character without stealing his jokes. So it's like Gary Brodsky as Richard Pryor, Gary Brodsky as Jackie Mason, Gary Brodsky as Johnny Carson. That's right. You can come to my show anytime. <laughs> mm. So yeah, I used to do that. That was a, you know, there's always a creative way to make money. And uh, that's what I would do. I was a comedian. I had my own stuff too, and I used to sell my own routines to other guys because I don't. I only. I didn't do it for money. I did it because I thought it was funny, and I was. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Forget this. But that's what I used to do for a living uh, for a short period of my life. But doing Richard Pryor was kind of fun for me because I was like, I met this girl that was so hot. I would suck her daddy did. That's the Richard Pryor there. Didn't matter, I can take any comedian and do my own routines. So, um, I got a one night of comedy here. Again, same, different person, same thing. Can you use a gold candle for uh, gambling? Yes. What really works well is the mojo bags. If you're a gambler, take a chance. A coldforce.com, get a mojo bag for gambling. It works. I got too many people up here. I got to hear some more questions from more, some more people. Come on. Because I only have a couple of minutes left, and then I'm signing up. Off. Songs usually get people going. Ah, right before the song. Yes. Next question. Uh, no questions? Okay, I'm going to take a list of call for questions while I play some music. Questions. Gary Brosky, 123dayworld.com. Let's go. I'm smoke here, that's it. Oh, we got a question. Oh. Two questions. Have you ever seduced a policewoman? Yes, I have. I didn't know she was a cop, but I used this line on her. Actually, I didn't know she was a cop. I walked up to her and said, you know, you're not bad for a cop. She just thought that was funny. Lines work sometimes. Wow, okay. My old pal. Haha, <laughs> quick question. Um, and I'm gonna do it in his voice. How many cigarettes have um, you um, you smoked in the uh, past hour? 
Lord Jim, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, I'll rewind the tape and uh, I'll record it. But uh, I only spoke when I'm doing the show. And every other minute in my life, I spoke in my sleep. The day I fell asleep with a cigarette. Uh, and, uh, you know, this girl, she was nice. She would. Bad joke. But that's so nice to see. Uh, my old pal Jim talks like this. I've dated girls in his voice. It works. Thank you for the show and the information. Thank you, Alex. And thank you, Warren. Both of the same exact thing. <laughs> yes, gold works. Thank you, genius. Uh, GaryBrotsky.com, uh, everybody. And thank you all for being here. And i got to find a good exit song and then count how many cigarettes I smoke. Thank you all again for being here. And I will see you all next Sunday and tomorrow. We got a webinar and coming your way. So thank you again. And Jim, thank you for watching. I'm gonna lock me. And good night all to all the good night.